So we've got Parsec, okay? Um, there's a Parsec app, obviously, and it's very good and it's very useful. And you can run your computers through Parsec, low latency servers, etc., etc. But when it comes to switching on your paper space machine, for example, um, the way that you would do it would be to go into Google, sign into your paper space account. Find your machine, turn it on, and go back into Parsec and run it from there. But that's all a bit long winded, and what I'm going to show you today is a way of kind of making it a lot quicker. So, we're going to use an app called Hermit. Um, I'll get it. I'll show you it in the Play Store first of all. You just type in Hermit There you go, you've got Hermit Light Apps. And it's a superb it's it's it, you can make light apps out of anything. So out of any web page um that you want to make a light app. Um, you can even do it with things like Facebook and all sorts, so it doesn't use as much um, phone resources. So if you've got an older phone or a phone that's struggling with um, space and um, things like that, you can make light apps um, to run quicker and more effectively than quite often the heavy, bloated main apps counterpart. So we open Hermit. We're going to go to back to Paperspace. So once you've logged into Paperspace, you're going to open up, you're going to tap on the Google search bar, copy the Paperspace address, go back in to Hermit, create, create your own and you're going to paste that into Hermit. Hermit's now creating a light app based on what you've just put in. There we go. Once it's all loaded up, should have the option eventually I don't know why my Wi-Fi is extremely slow today it's because we've suddenly got a sunny day here in the UK so it's um <laughs> everything's going a bit crazy. Yeah, it's not working today, is it? Yeah, paperspace.com. Just turn off the VPN for now. We don't really need it for this. Going to call. There we go. So we've now we're in where our machines are. 
We're going to create a light app. We're going to simply call it. I like to just keep it simple, just call it paper space, light, that's the URL, we don't want to change that, and then we've got add to home screen, which we want to do, the um, logo is already there, add to home screen, and there we go, I'm going to edit that, take the badge off, done. And then we've got our app. But what I like to do to make it even more app like, if you swipe in from the right hand side, scroll down to where it says frameless, that gets rid of the search bar at the top. And then that makes it that makes it an app. So from there, I could simply, I couldn't do much with my Windows PC from here because obviously it's not um, optimized for mobile use. But as far as starting and stopping the PCs, um, so I've got my Windows P500, for example, I could just simply start it there once it started up. I could go back to Parsec and it would show up in there and I'd be able to run it through Parsec. So it's as simple as that. If we close all these apps, so yeah, those open. And as you can see, there's paper space there. Yes, excuse my messy home screen. But you see how that now opens as an app there's a lot more you could do kind of from here you know you can check your you can check your billing your account limits your credit if you've got any you know your bills um so you know, you can even go into the gradient, start some projects. But uh, yeah, simple way of making a paper space app um, for whatever you want to use it for, really. I mean, you can see my my P5000 is on now. I can shut that down again quite easily from the app. And that's it. That's your paper space app.